What's going on guys, this is Bill from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Review for Yoku's Island Express. This game came out onto the Xbox One May 29th for a price of $19.99. And this game was published by Team 17 and uh, developed by Villa Gorilla. Game by Villa Gorilla. I just said that dude. <laughs> this game is a great game and I highly recommend it. It's such an awesome experience if you like Metrovania type games. Um, it's an open world Metrovania type game mixed with the pinball, which is so cool and um, such a unique experience. And I, it was just so fun. Like I, I had so much fun going through this game. I just finished this game. I got all the achievements. All the achievements in this game are basically for going through it and just doing certain things like getting different upgrades and beating different bosses and and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Um, you don't need a guide to go through this game, which is awesome. Um, you unlock stuff in the game that shows you where collectibles are. Um, there's only the scarabs where they don't show you where they are. But there's actually um, on IGN they made a guide to show you all their locations. Which I'll link in the uh, description below. But if you play through this game and you know about the scarabs from the beginning. You're not going to miss any because they're easy to get. There might be some that you need to come back for if you, you might with an upgrade, but I don't think I think pretty much you can get them all as you go through. You only see them when they're you're in the pinball sections, and I'll show you uh, more about them once we uh, get into the game here. But uh, yeah, so you just have to get the collectibles you see here, like these ones you'll find um, as you go along, and you need to collect all of them to get this achievement to hatch the egg. But there's uh, it will show them on the map once you get the item. And the biggest wallet, you have to get it upgraded so that you can hold 600. Um, this one, I was worried that uh, after the Space Monks left that you couldn't get it. But that's not true. The Space Monks actually have a place that's like lower. That's not all the way at the top. It's uh, somewhere in the middle. So, just so you know about that. There's a few secret areas, um, but they're really not too hard to find. There's one that's a little tricky and it has to do with uh, one of the quests. I think it's like Thorn's Quest or one of them. Um, there's a guide on, on true achievements to show you where the secret area is. It's really not too hard to find. Um, but yeah, you can go through this whole game and get it all done in one playthrough. So it's pretty easy completion with that. Um, you don't have to worry about any missables. If you miss anything, you can collect it all at the end. It's open world. There's a pretty big map you can go around. But yeah, it's a really cool game. It's uh, such a you, you know an awesome like mix of two different styles metrovania and having pinball as well you'll be going around doing missions for people and there's also these um little pinball areas where you have to actually play pinball and it's not too hard you don't have to worry about like losing even when you fall through like you'll lose some of your uh you have like treasure that you spend but you can you can get a limited amount of treasure to but uh you have a wallet that fills out fills up and gets maxed out so these are different upgrades that you get you can see they show like the stuff on the map and stuff that's how you can see all the collectibles will make it a lot easier this is the wallet you get up to 600 for the achievement you can learn how to swim you get the vacuum and uh, you also get the horn at the top which you're gonna be using a lot and you have to use it a thousand times for an achievement you're gonna be pressing a lot anyway that's how you like break things open and you do a bunch of stuff you press A to toot your horn just the whole map, it's a pretty big map. You could travel around with these things right here. You have to unlock them later on, but they bring you around the map. They're pretty cool. It's a good way to travel around, it's a lot faster. <laughs> so yeah, you could just shoot yourself up into one of these things and then, then you can shoot yourself across. You could drop down at any time or you can go to the end where it stops. You could change what your uh, ball looks like too. Um, by doing missions you're going to be unlocking new uh, stuff like these dies or whatever. And you bring them down here underneath the main area. And then, um, then you could switch up how it looks um, you could do all different combinations and there's an achievement for doing each one of the combinations so you just go you like take the first one go to the second one and then after you have to wash it off and then you can go to the next 
Some of them you actually need um, for some of the missions. Like one of them is you have to make, um, you have to be a bee. So you mix these two and then you could be the bumblebee for that mission. And there's like only a couple, you don't have, there's not that many. So you don't have to worry about <laughs> trying so many different ones to get them right. The only other one is, uh, it's just like wearing the regular skull one, not even mixed with anything. And that's how you get to the area where you only get to try once. And he says, nope, that's it. You can't do it again. You just have to dress up in the skull one, which is the fourth one, that green one. You just wear that by itself. And then you can go over there and you can try it again. You're going to come across a few places during the game where you uh, you see those uh, scarabs and or you, there's collectibles that you need to get and they seem kind of tricky. Most likely you'll need an upgrade. You can use the slug to like kind of jump up into some areas. You like roll and you press A and it will blow up. There's also this spot over here that's a pain to get. You just have to hit it with the blue bumper and hold left and get over there. I had a little bit of trouble find, uh, finding a way to get up there but most likely you just have to mess around with it. It's not too bad. Now you're gonna buy wallets. This is one of the guys. He sells you a wallet. Try to get the wallets as soon as possible so you can hold more uh, fruit. That's where you're gonna be uh, spending. Blow up all the things in the background that you can. And uh, you're gonna be spending fruit to unlock new jumps so you can get to new places. And also these slugs, you'll see them a lot. And you'll get uh, an upgrade where you can carry the slugs and you can blow up and that's how you can jump to some areas and stuff. Now I'm going to be going into a pinball area here. And uh, there's some scarabs in here. So I'll show you what they look like. Like I said, you want to um, be aware of these scarabs when you first go through the game. It will make it a lot easier for the completion. It's not that bad going up cleaning up after. I only needed two of them. But it is a pretty big map. So you have to go all around trying to find them all. So let's go down here. Just gonna start a pinball section. Now basically you're gonna just be hitting these things. You can get a lot of fruit in these areas. Some of them are like unlimited and then even if you get all the fruit you can like go and like come back and they'll replenish. So you don't have to ever worry about running out of fruit. If you your ball goes down you'll lose some fruit. You gotta hit these things that will unlock areas. Now there's a uh, two scarabs in this area there's one right in the middle it's that little bug those roses are checkpoints by the way too all right now see that thing right in the middle there's a bug it has a little yellow on it now the way to unlock this scarab is just keep hitting this yellow underneath it there you go now the scarab turns all yellow and that's how you know that it's unlocked that scarab will actually disappear later on too if you come back here it won't be there that's how you know you got it there was still another scarab in there to get. There's uh, two over here as well. There's one at the top and there's a lot of the scarabs are gonna be with this this wheel that you have to spin around and you have to light up all four sides. You move the wheel around by pressing the, the paddles. Those ones can be a little annoying. You have to do it twice too, but that's what you're gonna be doing a lot. So when you see those, there's most likely a scarab around. And then there's this one at the top here too. So like I said, try to get those done as soon as you see them. And if you can't, maybe mark it off or take a picture of the screen so you know where they are. You'll see a chest around too. You have to open all the chests for an achievement, but you'll get an upgrade that shows you where all of them are. Now I just got an upgrade for the slugs where I can um, you can vacuum them up and you can use them to break open areas. Now I can break open these things. So yeah, it's you know typical Metrovania game where you gotta get new upgrades so you can get to new areas and and such, but it's just done very well and it's a really fun game and I just enjoyed it so much. So, you know, I just wanted to go over it and show you what this game is like, go over the achievements. Like I said, it's easy completion, fun completion. You don't need a guide run through it and just enjoy yourself have a good time but it's now out for twenty dollars and uh, in my opinion it's worth it it's a great game it's definitely worth the money but that's gonna be it guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more achievement reviews walkthroughs and guides here at achievement land